Hey guys, morning of January the 2nd, happy new year, time to talk about finishing sheets. So finishing sheets in the spray room are basically details every time a job comes in. It tells you what colour is used, what kind of uh, product it's gone on, clear and finish and uh, everything like that. So the way these were done in the past is in this folder here, where every stain number that we have, so every time a new stain comes in, it would be the material that it's used on, what kind of clear coat it gets and what job it's used for as well. Uh, setback with this is there's not really a lot of detail as to what's actually being done here and also means that if you're coming back to a job from a few years ago you have to already know what color you used on that job otherwise you have to go page by page and try to find the actual job which can be an absolute pain in the butt at best so a while ago the guy just before me stopped doing this started manually entering everything in a book here by a job number I followed on the same suit of that Whereas pretty much every day, you go through what you've done, you write down what you've done, job number, details, what it was used on, how it was done. Not a huge amount of detail again in these, it's still pretty simple. Uh, other setback is not very well organized. So I mean, we've got 17522 here, but 17501. Job numbers aren't necessarily numeric or alphabetical, so it makes it a bit difficult to go back through everything and find something specific. Uh, the next step after that, and created a Word document on my phone and that allowed me to put pictures in in a lot more detail and text and information so I could go through a job, this cabinet, this is the job here and the details of how that was finished, if there was any defects in finishing or any troubleshooting that had to be done, details could be put in there just so that it could quickly come back as a reference and rework anything that needed to be done. Uh, again, set back with this is not necessarily numeric order makes it very difficult to come back through and find something specific, especially after I've been doing this for a year I've noticed it's hard, I can't even imagine trying to come back four or five years and not even knowing what year something was done. So, made the change a couple days ago, now I'm doing it this way. Instead of making one document and putting everything in there, I'm doing a document for every individual job. So there is a file on my phone called 17599, that's Total Jacks, have the information of all the products and colors, all the individual products that are done, along with pictures and details as we had before. So I mean this is five pages worth of information on this one job alone. And it's all stapled together so it can be pulled out and used as it needs to be. Makes it a lot easier to keep it and to find everything because we can stash everything in a numeric order there as well. So everything will be done this way now. Um, other advantage with an individual file is that means that when I send it to Chris to be printed off because the job is done and out of the way, he can take that file, he can dump it in the folder with any drawings or information that they have already. And as a result of that, it's accessible years down the road for them as well. Go, have a good one, guys.